Instant gratification is the desire for immediate satisfaction. It's the prioritization of short-term pleasure over long-term goals. Social media, video games, junk food, pornography, content consumption, stuff like Netflix and Hulu. All of these things are very normalized and they seem very harmless. They seem like harmless fun. Everybody does them, they're just all right. But if these habits are not managed, they can have massively detrimental effects on all areas of your life. So what are these effects and how can you escape the instant gratification cycle? So about three years ago, before I started any of this self-improvement stuff, I was very similar to everybody else. I did a lot of the same stuff. I watched a lot of YouTube, a lot of Netflix. I ate junk food, I didn't exercise, I smoked weed, I drank, I watched pornography, played a lot of video games. And also similarly to everybody else, I was severely depressed and anxious. Unknowingly, instant gratification was ruining my life and ruining my mental health in three ways. And I have a feeling that the same is true for you. Number one, social media provides hits of dopamine incredibly rapidly. Think about how quickly you're accessing new information, new stimulation when you're scrolling TikTok or Instagram or whatever. Every half a second, every second, you're getting new stimulation. This is training your brain to only pay attention to something for one second, for half a second before you switch tasks and start absorbing new information. Attention span, like a lot of things in biology, is like a use it or lose it situation. So by only paying attention to things for half a second, for one second at a time, you're dramatically decreasing your ability to pay attention to things for any longer than half a second or a second. In other words, you're training your brain to have symptoms of ADHD. Your brain gets used to this super rapid stimulation because likely you've been using social media and stimulating your brain like this since you were a little kid. So when that super quick stimulation is absent, your brain wanders. You have trouble paying attention. This results in trouble focusing, anxiety, intrusive thoughts, negative thoughts. So how much time a day are you spending on social media? And do any of these symptoms sound familiar to you? Second, many people are stuck in a cycle of constantly seeking out the next pleasurable experience or the next material possession. Never really being satisfied with what they have, they just want more and more and more. This is because your brain is taught that more dopamine is always available. You can always just pull out your phone and open Instagram and get more dopamine. You can always just eat some junk food for more dopamine. You can always turn on the PlayStation, get some more dopamine. Dopamine is always readily available and your brain knows that so it's always craving more. This obsession with novelty and constantly getting new stuff destroys your life satisfaction and your happiness. Take a second to think about this. How often do you get thoughts like, wow, I'm very appreciative for the life that I have. I'm really grateful to the things that I have and the things I get to experience and the life that I live. Not very often, right? Now, how often do you think, oh, I wish I had this thing. I wish I looked more like this person. I wish I lived a life that was more exciting like, like this influencers. Where do you think these thoughts and these desires come from? Where do you think that dissatisfaction with your life comes from? These thoughts come from overconsumption of instant gratification. Number three, prioritizing short-term pleasure over long-term life satisfaction is way, way too common. When you really sit and think about it, instant gratification, indulging in pleasure is a major time waster and a major distraction from your goals. Think about this, if you took all the accumulative hours that you've spent on instant gratification, scrolling through your phone, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, playing video games, watching pornography, all those accumulative hours, and you instead put them towards achieving your dream, how much further do you think you would be in achieving that dream? Now, I used to spend all my time chasing pleasure, indulging in instant gratification, putting off my goals. Oh, I'll do that later. I'm tired. I, I want to relax. I want to just do whatever. And how do you think that made me feel in the long term? You know, when I'm laying at bed at night, staring at the ceiling, trying to sleep, and I'm thinking about my life and how I've achieved nothing. How do you think that I felt? Miserable. Think about it this way. And I know this is an extreme example, but just bear with me. Imagine a homeless man addicted to heroin, right? Every single day, he is injecting the most pleasurable drug that you could possibly imagine. His levels of dopamine are so highly elevated, you could not comprehend how pleasurable that feels. And look at where chasing that pleasure got him. He let his life go to shit. He lost everything. He's homeless on the street from chasing pleasure. Now, I know that you're not addicted to heroin, right? But 
I'm sure that in one way or another, you're letting your life go to shit, all to chase pleasure, to indulge in instant gratification. You're putting your goals aside, you're putting your life dreams aside, so that you can indulge in instant gratification. This is all to say, instant gratification may temporarily make you feel really good. It's very pleasurable in the moment. But you're sacrificing your long-term life satisfaction. You're sacrificing your potential in life to indulge in this gratification. So how do you escape this cycle? What I realized and what you eventually need to realize is that dopamine detox is the only way forward. You need to give up social media, entertainment, junk food, pornography, video games, drugs, alcohol, all of these things that waste your time and get you nowhere. And you need to pick up good, healthy, delayed gratification habits like reading, exercising, eating clean, meditating, journaling learning skills. Maybe you start working on the goals that you've always had in the back of your mind, but you've put off. I have a full video on dopamine detox on my channel if you want to learn more about that. Other than that, man, I hope this helps you. Have a good one.